What was it like on launch day? I mean, you guys got out there. I'm assuming, I mean, you had integration with Twitter right off the bat, so you could share photos out socially. Um, was it just tremendous growth from day one, or was it something where it took a few weeks, or what was... It was insane from like an hour. Well, we, <laughs> we, Tell the real story. We, we, we were going to you know, get all the press lined up and hope that nobody was going to like leak it early. And we said, okay, I think it was like 8 a.m. I think it was 8 a.m. So we're like, okay, great. The app store sometimes, you know, you say like, hey, I want my app out there. It can take a couple hours to actually do it. And you don't want to look dumb like, hey, my new app is out. And like, it's actually not available. So we're like, we'll play it safe. We'll hit the button at midnight. And we hit the button, Kevin hit the button from his house, and within a minute, two minutes, we already had people signing up. So we had tried to do our best to, like, in the weeks before, build up interest by giving out promo codes. We would do this thing where we'd say on Twitter, like, hey, like, we're going to give out a promo code that lets you have early access to the app in the next hour. Like, tweet at us if you're interested. And, like, just kind of built up interest. And we let all our beta testers actually share to Twitter. So instead of keeping it super secret, mm. we'd say, like, and were you a beta tester back then? I don't think we knew you back then. No, I, I met you guys probably about two or three weeks after, after launch. After that, yeah. right. So we, but we had a great group of testers who were, you know, Silicon Valley designers, engineers who we knew, people from Florida too. And like, uh, they were posting and starting to drum up interest. So when we launched, there, it turns out that there had been this like pent up interest in it. And we got to sign up within a minute. And I remember getting to the office. I, you know, at the time was still biking around San Francisco. So I biked at 6 a.m. It was freezing. Um, and I was like shaking because I was so <laughs> nervous. And I think Kevin had gotten, you got breakfast first. I had no idea. I didn't yep. eat it because I was so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and sure enough, like the signups started coming in. And neither of us had had any experience like scaling a website to many people using it. We look back now and the mistakes we made scaling wise on that first day were like, pretty beginner mistakes, but we were beginners, so it makes sense that we'd make those mistakes. I remember our site going down, and uh, John Gruber, who writes this blog, Daring Fireball, it's like a big blog in like the tech and iOS and, and Mac community, he had written about it. He's like, hey, this is a pretty interesting app. I don't think I'll use it. Turns out he ended up using it, but eh, it looks okay, but like nice design, and then he did update. The site's down. I don't think they know what they're doing. I was like, oh, <laughs> this is the worst the moment ever, um, and I felt so crushed, and um, this is like an incredible day. I called our hosting company at the time. We were hosted in a single machine that was about as powerful as like our laptops nowadays in LA. Um, and I called them like, hey, this thing actually took off. Can you give me more machines? We need more capacity. They're like, yeah, that's gonna be like four days because we gotta like order the parts. And I was like, no, no, we need it like today, <laughs> like right now. Um, and sure enough, like two days later, we're like, no, we need to switch to Amazon's cloud service so that we like, when we get a big rush of users, when Memorial Day hits, we can add capacity right then and there instead of having to wait for like a four-day turnaround. Yeah, 